all right hello welcome to my youtube channel this is megan and today i am going to talk about a controversial topic that has really been bothering me lately and it's basically about Dwayne Wade's daughter zaya and how people have a lot to say about her transitioning from male to female now mind you she is 12 years old and People are saying she doesn't really have a right to have the decision so early and that she doesn't know what she wants because she's only 12 years old. They have a lot to say about Zaya's opinion and how she feels about her body and her mind, which is very disgusting to me because I just don't think it's, it's how can I say this? People just need to learn how to mind their business, period. People need to learn how to mind their business and they need to learn that that's not their child, okay? This is Dwayne Wade's child. This is Zaya's body. So I really don't understand why, why everybody has something to say when it doesn't concern them. Honestly, like why are y'all talking about a 12 year old's life why are y'all talking about it on twitter on instagram on all these platforms knowing that she probably has been bullied because of her wanting to transition because she's you know she's gay or i think initially that you know zaya's name was xavier you know xavier the male it, um, the name was Xavier. So think about how Zaya was treated in school. For Zaya to have the the courage to speak up, the courage to say, "I want to," you know, "I want to transition. I want to to be a female. That's who I identify as." For her to have that courage and for her to be so aware of what she wants to do at such a young age. I think that everybody needs to learn how to be more mature about the situation, but all in all, learn how to mind your business. People always have so much to say about something that does not concern them. And it's very disgusting to me. I believe, was it, who was it? It's just so many people. It was a girl named Soraya or somebody from Empire. I saw her talking about it on Twitter or Instagram. And she was just going in on this. She was just saying, well, he, she's 12 years old and she doesn't know what she wants to do, blah, blah, blah. That was my child. I would not. I would. Not. This is not your child. So with that being said, you need to be quiet. And then Bootsy, I don't even know what his name is. Uh, Y'all know who that is. Anyway, he was going in and saying some very transphobic and homophobic things. I'm just like, why? 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 Why are y'all so upset about a 12-year-old's opinion and 12-year-old's decision to transition? Why? There's so many other things going on in the world and y'all are pressed about a 12 year old's decision to transition. Excuse me, really? Really? That's what we're really concerned about. And it's, it's really in the black community where we always have something to say regarding, you know, gay and LGBTQ community. There's so many things y'all have to say about this community so many things the black community has a problem with transphobic and homophobia homophobia let's just be honest i'm just gonna be honest here instead of uplifting and letting you know your daughters or sons be okay with being who they are y'all want to knock them down and y'all want to say you should not be this way because this is not what i raised I raise you to be a female or I raise you to be a male and for you to want to change that or for you to you know want to be with the same gender that's disgusting that's what y'all say 
Well, some, I'm not going to say y'all, some of you say, you say that you don't want this to happen because you raise your kid a certain way. Well, your kid isn't, isn't like that. Your kid wants to be with somebody with the same gender. Your kid wants to be with somebody with, um, who's trans, who's transgender. Your kid wants to transition instead of having so many negative opinions about this you should instead love your child you should instead uplift your child and show them that it's okay to be who they are because if you don't love them then they're not going to be able to love themselves which causes you know mental illnesses which can cause suicidal thoughts you have to think on a broader spectrum instead of thinking so one-sided instead of thinking what you want to believe so all in all instead of you know having so many opinions about Dwayne Wade's daughter y'all need to focus on your family you need to focus on loving your daughter and your son because that's what Dwayne Wade's doing he's loving Zaya for who she is and mind you I said she because she is a female and she wants to transition and she's going to do so so all in all I'm gonna wrap this up mind your business bye